Okay, it's week three of uh, crap to scratchcom So, just returned from Toronto. Uh, just visited uh, Sean Clements at the Richmond Hill Golf Club. So, uh, a big thanks to all the guys at the club. Uh, made the week uh, very memorable and also learned a lot there. So, that's uh, the guys there. You got Matt, uh, you got Alan, you got Doug, you got Paul. And also um, the main man, uh, Mr. Sean Clements. I uh, spent a week with him um, learning the stroke, learning uh, what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing. Um, generally spending around about, um, I'd say, eight eight hours a day at, um, at the indoor studio there. Um, not hitting balls all the time. Um, Basically, when I wasn't hitting balls, I was watching Sean teach, trying to get things sunk into my mind about uh, what I should and shouldn't be doing. And it's amazing actually watching someone um, teach who knows um, what they're doing. Um, you know, can also back it up with the way um, you know he hits a golf ball. Um, like I said, there's um, there's a video out there of what Sean carries in his bag. It's quite unique in the fact that he carries both left and right-handed clubs in his bag at the same time. I think it's the Odds are uh, right-handed and the, the evens are left-handed, um, but that clip will be going on the site soon, um, all Titleist clubs, and um, quite interestingly, we are going to try and get him um, fitted with Jason McNiven, um, who's the equipment guy in Scrap Crap to Scratch, so uh, we'll see where those stats come out, that's later in the year, so uh, look out for that. So. Anyway, summary of Toronto was a great week, um, learned a lot, took that to the range, and unfortunately one or two old habits started creeping back in. So a big thanks to Paul O'Brien, who was the local PGA pro, who um, set me straight on a couple of swing uh, points there. Um, very much following sort of Sean's teachings, um, Paul is providing the oversight to the swing, and uh, it really worked a treat on that day. I was hitting the ball topping it, you know, hitting it left, hitting it right, and, um, you know, Paul made me focus on, um, you know, what Sean had taught me, you know, really getting back to the basics, and it, it worked really well. So, um, yeah, all in all, feeling better about the swing. Um, it has improved how much is yet to be seen, but um, that will only be seen really on the course, so uh, I will keep you updated. On the equipment side, we have some changes, and... Um, some of these are a result of, you know, the work we've been doing with Sean and the swing has changed and uh, one of the big changes at the moment is we are working on the driver. Um, I did have a Ping uh, G15 in the bag, um, really like this driver, um, just wasn't quite right for me. I'm, I'm quite tall, I'm six foot four and the Pings generally, I'm told, hit the ball, you know, quite high. Um, and obviously being tall that is sort of you know emphasized as well so we are trying out a new sort of driver head and shaft compensation uh, or combinations even so we have gone at the moment with this uh, I don't know whether you can see that this Nakashima um, with a much sort of firmer flex shaft so um, full driver review coming out next week going back to Jason's studio and uh, we're really going to sort of try and nail that, that driver set up for the next, try and keep it consistent for the next sort of four or five months now my swing has, has changed. Um, wedges, we did some work on the wedges. We put extra length on the um, shafts of the wedges so and bent the degrees so they're the equal distance uh, from the pitching wedge through the 52 to 60. Um, so again, I'll update the in the bag section and um, let you know sort of what changes but it's basically five degrees between those wedges so I can keep the same swing and uh, know how far I can hit each club. Um, that's pretty much it on the equipment front. Um, like I said there's a lot more videos coming out from Jason so keep your eye out for them. Um, off tomorrow to meet um, Paul O'Brien again. We're going to do some videos with Paul tomorrow and see, um, you know, get some tips, you know, where, where Paul is based, you know, what, what his swing philosophy is. And uh, like I said, Paul's very much sort of the eyes on coach, making sure I'm following what, what Sean's teaching me. So um, looking forward to that. Uh, a few things for the site. The charity pages are complete. It's taken me a while, but they are now complete and they will be going up tomorrow. Uh, there's a new design coming out for the website and um, had a bit of feedback from um, 
a sports writer, Bill Neiman, and um, you know, taking that on board, and we're we're really sort of going to make some changes and, and push that out um, in the next couple of days. So, uh, all in all, a lot of work uh, being done this week. Um, been a great week in terms of learning about stuff, uh, the swing equipment, and um, time now needed, you know, on the range and also off the range. Um, a lot of exercises that you can actually do away from the range. You don't need to be pounding you know hundreds of golf balls a day without any any thought um, so probably bring out a video um, about that soon as well in terms of you know what you can do off the course uh, for those who haven't got a huge amounts of time you can improve your swing um, off the course and uh, Sean has shown me some uh, key exercises for that on the fitness side um, my wife's got me on a diet so um, you may notice that my don't know whether you can see my my chin has actually got a little bit smaller. So um, really, just um, you know, the key things about just watching what I eat, really, and um, you know, combining that with exercise, um, my body's reacted quite well to it. Um, you know, a little bit hungry at times. Um, you know, not starving myself. You know, just making sure we're getting the right food um, into the body and also the right amount of exercise. So um, yeah, all good there. So. Um, that's pretty much it. Positive week from crap to scratch .com. How much progress we've made. Um, you know, I think I've got positive, positive thoughts about it. Um, just got to translate that to the course and trying to work out when I next play on the course. So uh, keep track of the website for details of how I get on and I'll keep you updated as we go through the journey. So from crap to scratch .com, that's it for week three. See you soon.